we are demonstrating the parallel processing capabilities of FPGA. So we are stre streaming one video using this camera and we are streaming it on VGA display as well as at the same time we are applying the video processing at on the video that we are capturing and we are detecting this ball. And then the FPGA is trying to control the height of ball using control system. Uh, here we, are, we have used the PID control system. So here we are capturing the video using this OV7670 camera. Then this uh, camera data goes to this FPGA. The FPGA processes that data into VGA format and stores one frame of buffer. And then we apply uh, video processing on the frame that we have just captured. And we display that video output on this screen. From the captured data here we can see that we are detecting this ball here we are detecting the object and this red line shows the upper bound and lower bound of our ball with vga display the problem is that if we missed only one number like for example if we write 639 instead of 640 the whole video is corrupted so for that we have to do the timing analysis very perfectly The signal tap analysis is always better because it gives you a visual re representation like you can see in oscilloscope. So uh, it is very useful in timing analysis. Also I prefer the block diagram file method to make my projects because that gives me visual representation of what circuit I am building on the FPGA. You have to be careful regarding the static discharge and all because one single discharge can cause the whole FPGA to blow up. So be careful working with that. There is a YouTube video channel in which uh, the IEEE 754 standard which specifically deals with the multiplication and how to handle floating point numbers in very long. Uh, that is a great YouTube channel as it is a 20 part lecture series of around 45 minutes to 50 minutes each in which he's explained each and everything of how to deal with floating point numbers in great detail. Another I would like to uh, share is a book called Verilog HDL Basics and it has all the syntax of Verilog IEEE 754 standard. So it has uh, for each range of numbers like half precision, single precision, double precision, it has explained in detail about the concepts of significant and uh, the exponent field. So how the mantissa and the real integer part of the number is split in standard is explained in detail and how to adjust for bias so we can also have negative numbers represented in sense of floating point in binary that is also explained. This experience proved to be a good addition on my resume as I was offered a junior research fellow position at IIT Gandhi Naga in the Society of Robotics Lab. So I am working on developing a series elastic actuator and that part also requires EFPGA and uh, LabVIEW software. That is why this was a crucial like, stepping stone and a learning step for me. Initial one or two days, you will feel frustrated like I'm not able to solve this problem and like, this is too difficult and also the mentors are not helping us that much in like uh, they used to on Piazza but this is like all for your help as they are trying to build a research aptitude in you like how to solve the problem because it is very important that these minor technical issues which you will be facing like you should be able to debug them and it would be a key learning experience for you as in future projects this would help you to save your time because you already know what not to do from the start itself and a good learning opportunity as well for you.